I'm Deepika, working as a project engineer in VT Mobile Aerospace Engineering. As a project engineer, um, I work to help with planning and processing a project. Basically, the big one that we are doing here is the passenger to freighter conversion of the airplane itself. Basically, as a project engineer, I coordinate with different departments. Uh, say if there is an issue with the airplane, I'll have to coordinate with the engineering department to go check what exactly the problem is. And at the same time, I have to pass the message to the customer to look after their airplane and so and so is happening and our engineering is working on it and they, if there's a major issue, then this per particular problem will take so and so time. But at the same time, once the issue is resolved, uh, I also take care of billing on how many hours a, a mechanic has put in or how many hours an engineer has put in. And we'll have to bill the same to the customer. I typically work for eight hours a day, five days a week, and the stress level is pretty moderate. Basically, an engineering background, uh, preferably a mechanical or an electrical engineering, can be bachelor's or master's. Uh, on top of it, if you have like an MBA, master's in business administration, or a PMP license, that's a project management professional, will be a plus. Because uh, in your project engineering uh, job that you do, you mostly have to have management skills and also be very good at math, doing all the financial stuff. The best part of the job is I talk to a lot of people and communicate over the phone. So that helped me increase my people skills and how to manage as far as talking with the person and conveying the message. But the worst part of the job is since dealing with a lot of billing and invoicing issues, you, there's no room for any kind of mistake with your numbers, so you really have to be on, on the top with your math. My advice to you is if you're going for a bigger career or an engineering career, always keep your, your options open because uh, I can give you my example. I did my master's in electrical engineering, by, but I ended up doing project management, um, not really saying that if you do electrical, you just have to stick to electrical. You just have to keep your options open. And since I'm whatever I'm doing right now, I'm happy with it. And I know there's growth in it. One other thing, uh, as a student, I used to work in the mall at a retail store. So that helped me improve my math skill because I was taking care of the cash register and also selling the stuff in the store. So that helped me to manage and also improve my people skills.